All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over my new favorite method for gluing styrofoam together. Polystyrene sheets, XPS foam, any of this styrofoam type of material. For me, I use it for surfboard building because when you buy sheets of this foam, this is like construction foam, it's not thick enough. And to get a custom cut can be expensive or sometimes for me uh, or some of you, it's really hard to find surfboard blanks. But this is not limited to surfboard building. You know, if you found this video, it might be because you just want to glue some styrofoam together. This is the best way of doing it that I found. However, having said that, it might not be the most uh, environmentally friendly or maybe the best for your health, but we're talking about maybe what works the best. And then you can make a decision whether you want to use this new type of glue or adhesive that uh, I'm using. So what it is, it's polystyrene foam insulation uh, spray adhesive 78 made by 3M, which is very similar to Super 77, which you can get pretty much at any hardware store, Walmart carries it, very, very common. Now, before I get into talking about this, and thank you to my friend James who put me onto this stuff. I knew about this stuff several years ago, but it was very hard to procure and it's expensive, but I have found a source for it and I will put a link in the description below. Um, but before I start talking about this, I just wanna go over quickly a few of the existing methods that I've used to glue foam sheets together. So I've used polyurethane glue, so AKA, well, okay, the label's gone from this, but polyurethane glue, Gorilla Glue, this stuff to glue sheets of foam together. I've used paint, like white paint. You paint it on and then you put your sheets together and then you clamp it and then you let it dry for several days to a few weeks because um, the foam is porous and it will dry out over time and glue your sheets together. I don't like that method because you can't hot wire it very well. The hot wire has a tendency to kind of skirt the paint. It does do it, but just not as well. So if you plan on hot wiring your foam, paint's probably not the best way to go, but it does work. It's inexpensive. Um, yeah, works pretty good. Polyurethane glue, same thing. Doesn't hot wire very well. In fact, it doesn't hot wire at all because it's it can be very tough to get through it. I've also used water-based contact cement and it works quite well. You can't use regular contact cement on this type of foam. The reason why I don't like using the water-based contact cement is it's kind of thick and it's also has um, an orange color to it, which again, polyurethane glue also has a bit of an orange or amber tint to it. So that's not ideal if uh, color is important. And also when you're shaping, in my instance, a surfboard or if you're planning on shaping or doing any sculpture work, those areas that are either paint or polyurethane don't shape as well. The alternative is I've used Super 77 with a good deal of success. You do need to put a thin layer on and exclusively I was using this for a while before I found the 78. This stuff works fairly well. I've had some uh, viewers write in to me saying that it did melt their foam on them. I found the trick to this is to put a real light mist on all your surfaces, let it tack up, let it set up, flash off, and then add a few more layers, just slowly build it up and I haven't had any issues. A few of those boards back there have been glued together using Super 77. I made a huge um, stand-up paddle board, gluing the sheets together. Uh, same thing, no problem. I was able to do it. The only thing I don't like about this stuff is it does land on a lot of surfaces and it kind of makes, you know, you gotta be careful. If you're spraying it outside, maybe it's not so bad, but in here when I've done it, it kind of, the airborneness of the glue kind of does, you know, land on stuff and, um, you know, makes things sticky. The disadvantage though is this is also has a slight amber color to it when it dries and on the seams on some of those boards you can kind of see I have been able to mitigate it by kind of sanding down that area and then uh, because it is EPS foam I do need to seal it. Again if you're maybe using this to glue together like XPS sheets um, maybe less of an issue for you but you'd have to do some testing. What's nice about this inexpensive same with all those other methods I've mentioned. The key benefit of using this is because it's a contact cement, it will adhere your sheets instantly and you're ready to go. So you spray this on, you let it flash off, put your sheets together, clamp it for a little bit, and you then right afterwards, you can start using um, your foam sheets, which then now leads me to the 78. 
They don't call it Super 78. They just call it, it's kind of in the same family. It's polystyrene foam insulation, 78 spray adhesive. This sprays um, horizontally or, you know, on flat sheets, whereas this only sprays downward. So your sheets need to be laying down or your pieces, and then it sprays like this. One thing I will mention about this is it comes with, and James actually pointed this out to me, but of course, when I got the, when I bought a few cans myself, I see it now, the label, is that there's a big warning label on this. So I looked up the MSDS for both of these and they're similar. However, this one doesn't have a section on how carcinogenic it, uh, any of the materials are. Whereas this has a section about the carcinogenicness uh, of one of the materials in this or one of the substances. And it's methylene chloride, I believe. I better double check that. Yes, so it's methylene chloride and it is a carcinogenic substance. So yeah, this you probably wanna use in a well-ventilated area. It even says right on it, don't use it inside. It says to use it outdoors, um, wear proper safety equipment, gloves. Um, yeah, so you know, for the amount I'm gonna be using it, I'm not too worried, but I just wanna put that out there for you, for any of you who might be concerned about using this. It's definitely not non-toxic and even says right on the lid, industrial grade. That's sometimes a lot of a very generic term, but again, it doesn't seem like it's something that you can readily just go purchase at your local hardware store. Whereas this stuff you can, this I had to special order it. And I also love that there is a section on VOCs, volatile organic compounds, and the limit in California, because they have a carb VOC limit, it says, of California has a limit of 65%. And then in this product, it skirts that. It's 64.8%. But sometimes the most toxic stuff works the best, unfortunately. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how this stuff works. I'm gonna go spray some and glue some of these sheets together. So I'm spraying here, but it's coming out a little bit more like silly string because the nozzle's a little clogged. But in this next section, although this video is a little overexposed, you can see that the spray is a lot wider. Uh, this was when I initially opened the can. All right, so once this is dried to the touch, you get your two sheets, you get them ready. You really only have one go at this. So be sure to line it up your edges well, because once you drop it, it's bonded, that's it. Uh, it's good to probably have someone help you, but this is a small sheet, so I don't really need that. I'm gonna line up my two edges over here, right like this. I'm gonna be hot wiring this anyway, so if it's not 100% perfect, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna let this side drop. Just gonna double check the end here. That's beautiful. And now, apply pressure. And that's pretty much it. Bond it. Just so that I make sure I clamp the center down well. So I'm gonna take a couple blocks of polystyrene here and just build it out like that. Take a ratchet strap and just clamp it all down. I do like to clamp it for a couple hours. Ideally, you could probably just start using it right away. I just like the, the adhesive to set up really well. So that's how you glue EPS, XPS, polystyrene together. Um, this is my new method, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. You could use some of those other methods if you don't feel comfortable using 3M78 spray adhesive, if you're worried about the toxicity. It's the purpose stuff for gluing this type of foam together and it works really well. So yeah, I recommend it just with some safety precautions. All right, see you guys in the next one.